Good morning. Here uh, you can see the topic motion under variable acceleration. Okay. <coughs> this thing you can uh, study in class 11 and 12. This thing you can study in diploma engineering course. And this thing you can study in beta course also. Okay. Topic is same. Uh, still I want to discuss this problem. Okay. Here you can see the heading. Title is given motion under variable acceleration. Motion of an object or a particle under variable acceleration. That means acceleration is not a constant here. Acceleration is not constant. It is variable. It is varying with time. Here acceleration, here A denotes acceleration. This is given in terms of time t, where t is in second. Okay. So A is equal to t cube minus 3t square plus 5. And it is mentioned that the condition is given at time t is equal to 1 second, velocity is this much, 6.25 meter per second, and x represents displacement, and that is 8.8 .8 meter. Okay. And it is asked that at t is equal to 2 second, what is the displacement and what is the velocity. So you know that there are three formulae uh, which are frequently used for, uh, for the solution of problems of motion. Okay. Uh, the formulas, uh, formulae are uh, x, uh, x is equal to ut plus half at square then v square is equal to u square plus 2ax and v is equal to u plus at. You know all these three formulae. Okay. And I want to say that these formulae, these are correct, but these cannot be used to solve the given problem because all these three formulae are based on constant acceleration. If const acceleration remains constant, whether it is acceleration or retardation, okay, if it remains constant, then only you can use all these three formulae to solve the given problem, otherwise not. Otherwise, what do you have to do? You have to use the very basic definition of velocity, displacement, etc. Uh, acceleration. Okay. Uh, you know that, uh, you know that what? You know velocity is equal to dx dt. x is displacement, t is time. Velocity is defined as a rate of change of displacement with respect to time. This is the very basic or the fundamental definition of velocity. Okay. Similarly, acceleration is defined as dv dt. dv dt. Acceleration is defined this way. Okay. It is equal to what? It is equal to rate of change of velocity with respect to time. That way acceleration is defined. Okay. So we are going to use these two very basic definitions of velocity and acceleration to solve the given problem. Right? Okay. So let's proceed to solve the given problem. Okay, so here acceleration is, is given. Just after writing this, the next line is this one. Next line is you replace this a by dv dt. So you write dv dt is equal to the right hand side expression t cube minus 3t square plus 5. Okay, so in the very next line, you can easily write v is equal to integration of this expression. So t cube minus 3t square plus 5, here dt will appear. Okay, so what is the result? The result is known to you, it is t to the power 4 by 4, here t cube by 3, so only t cube will appear, and here 5t. And also one more term should be there, and that is, that is what? Constant of integration. Say constant of integration is denoted by C1. So t to the 4 by 4 minus 3 into t cube by 3. That 3 and these 3 are cancelled. And then 5t. Okay. So it, this is what? This is velocity. And condition is given at t is equal to 1 second velocity is this much. So use that condition to get the value, uh, to get the value of C1. Okay. So therefore, I am... Uh, going to do the same thing 6.25 and here 1 
So 1 divided by 4 minus 1 plus 5 into 1 plus C1. Okay. So then what we are getting? C1 it is equal to uh, what is the result here? This is 1 by 4 that is 0.25. So minus 1 that is minus 0.75. This is 5. So minus 0.75 4.25. Okay, plus 4.25, therefore C1 is equal to 6.25 minus 4.25, that is it is equal to 2. 2.0 or only 2. Okay, same. Same thing. Once again, I need to check. This is my 0.75, uh, sorry, 0.25, so minus 0.75, 4.25, right. It is 2. C1 is equal to 2. Therefore, what we have got? V is equal to this plus 2. So, we have got that, that thing. So, therefore, V is equal to T to the power 4 uh, by 4 minus T cube minus T cube plus 5T and C1 is 2. So, this thing we have got. Okay. Now, one more condition is given. Uh, x is equal to 8.9 meter when t is equal to 1 second. Now, this v can be replaced by ds dt. Okay. So, ds dt is equal to right hand side that is t to the power 4 by 4 minus t cube and then 5t and then 2. Okay. Let me check. Uh, yeah, it is visible. So, therefore, s is equal to what? s is equal to integration of this. So, integration and here it is t to the power 4 by 4 minus t cube plus 5t plus 2 and here dt okay dt right so what is the integration result is what it is t to the power 5 by 5 so this becomes t to the power 5 by 20 right and this is this becomes what t to the power 4 by 4 t to the power 4 by 4 and this becomes 5 by 2t square and 2 is there so this becomes 2t right plus a constant of integration c2 am i right oh so not s uh, sorry instead of s i should write x i have used here x for displacement not s it is x okay so x is this much now use this condition okay you just put x is equal to 8.8 8 and t is equal to 1. So, we will get value of C2. Then, then the expression for V is, uh, V is already known. Then the expression for X will be known. After knowing the value of C2. How will you know the value of C2? You just put X is equal to 8.8 8 and t is equal to 1 in this equation. Okay. I am not going to complete this uh, problem. Okay. You know. What do you have to do next? Okay. Uh, so, after knowing all these things, you just put t is equal to 2 second, you will get the value of velocity as well as displacement. To get the velocity, you have to use this equation, and to get the displacement, you have to use this equation. I think you can easily do this task. Okay. Okay. So, this is the end of this problem. Thank you for watching this video. Have a nice day to all of you.